Ladies and gentlemen, non-binary specimens, weird kids, and chaos gremlins alike, my name is 36 and welcome back to the Cult of Chaos here on YouTube. Now, I was browsing Steam earlier and I noticed it is their Steam Deck Builders Fest. Discounts, demos, and more now through to the 1st of April. And, uh, if I might be so, uh, frank, I do enjoy me a good deck builder game. And I love the roguelike elements of them, so I've downloaded a few demos and I'm going to jump in and give them a crack. Now, so the first one we're going to try is Acolyte of the Altar. And here we go. In the wastelands, thousands of gods lived in an unsteady peace. Their domains carved into caves or nestled in canopies. Cool. Humanity came, and with them, desire. People formed pacts with spurned gods in exchange for magics, becoming the first acolytes. Ooh. These spurned gods became known as the patrons. They swelled with human drive and sought a rightful domain of their own. Nice. A great test of strength followed, leaving only three. That's me. I'm three. The Sylvans of Haru. Oh, it's very anime-esque. The Empiricists of Nest. Ooh. And the Ravagers of Lone. Ooh, okay. Each seeks to be the sole ruler, but their abilities are too evenly matched for any one to lay claim. Okay. Now, colossal beasts walk the ravaged land, and the acolytes hunt their power to tip the scales. Cool. One will offer these sacrifices to their patron, and the world will be forever changed. At the cool, so I like the I like the um the graphics of the game so far. Very nice, cartoony. Of the altar. Now you gotta put all the different beast trophies at the altar, and you gain power by the looks of it. So, are we okay? So we're gonna learn how to play the game. The mana chanting cultists. I don't have enough mana. Oh, I don't. I'm not gonna put it. Hey, over there, you're an acolyte, right? I'm a beast. That means we fight. Wonder why. A little positively flimsy. Let me give you some tips so you don't embarrass yourself. All right. Look at that. You brought a cute little guy with you. Why don't you right click to check him out? All right. Tiny Disciple. When you loot a new card, a Tiny Disciple is sadly replaced from your deck. Yellow attack gem. That's how much damage he does. So two. Okay. Pretty much basic principles of Hearthstone. Two attack, two health, two mana to summon. Okay. Cool. 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 Mana cost. Yes. All cards cost mana to play. Mana pool is there. Extra mana. I stole from last acolyte. Use it in here. Play your mana pool coin next. Okay. Send all remaining mana to gain one for one for each mana spent. Stop to eat. Okay. All right. Ooh, shoot. He ate all your mana. Most cards, special effects. Be sure to read them for playing. Okay, cool. Notice creatures are summoned closest to your face. We are out of mana. Let's see what you got to so smack me hard. Okay. It's in the attack row. I click the big attack button. So, okay, cool. Right, so it's the beast's turn. Okay, it's pretty much pretty standard battling. Okay, cool. Attack there. Wait and power via new abilities. Cool. Uh, cool. That's the beast's turn. They're gonna piercing, piercing gaze, and powerful slash on one of my cards. Okay, I see how this is. I see how this is. Yep. Cool. 
choose your greater patron the ravages the empiricists all right ravages start with a 1-1 one, one vent crawler with armies of ems contained captained by mountainous champions ravages take down beasts before they can react passive heal by three life after each combat empiricists bargain with transcendental horrors in exchange for knowledge they shovel for the time all for time they can summon these beings from like their foes or the sylvans locked in demo come back later okay well we're gonna play as my greater patron is going to be the empiricists so that means we're gonna have that as my lesser patron confirm choose a gift all right i like the deck building all right so prophetic blind faults plus 40 to your current and max life start combat with a 3-1 raven when it dies summon a 3-2 raven then a final 3-3 raven if the final raven dies so do you oof start combats with founders memorial grants zero plus one to neighboring creatures if it survives in turn five gain five beat well, we're gonna get prophetic blindfold go hard shall we Marrow wastes, and we'll see how this goes. Okay. Impling. I was like, I just have to end turn at the moment. I can't do anything else for that. Uh... Just opening everything up so I can. Just... All right, so I can drop you into there. I can drop you into there and attack. All right, so that's good start. I got to end my turn now. Lantern Lua. What does Lantern Lua do? All right. Oh, that's not good. Death. Grant neighboring creatures minus one attack. Deal two damage direct to you. Okay. Lord, give attackers plus one this round. One, two, three, four, attack. Nice. End of my turn. Oof. Oh. Summon two cannon fodder. Not good. One, two, three. I've got to attack that. All right, I'm, I'm in. I'm in the winning seat here. Still have 59 health. The angler only has five. That's not good. If this raven, if this raven dies, so do I. Impling. Miss space on the board to play. All right. Yes. And we beat the angler. And I didn't die because of my card. That's cool. Claim your victory rewards. Man with the goat's head. An ideal damage gain that much borrowed life. If it is turn six or later, I have charge. Play, I turn to stone and can't attack. Great. My attack, health, and your borrowed life are always equal. End of turn, gain two borrowed life. Man with goat's head. All right. So, offering harvested. Nice. The fates. Oh, this is rough. With my one raven as well. Pop in an impling because I can and end my turn. Oof. Tiny disciple. Well, I'm going to have to punch these up and attack. 
And I guess I end my turn. All right. Oh, okay. That is very unfortunate. I have three, so I can... I guess I just drop him in, because it gives all of my creatures plus one attack, so four, seven, eleven. Mm-hmm. Brings him down a bit, that's good. That's the implings, so it doesn't do anything. And you loot a new card, a tiny disciple is sadly replaced. That's fine. What does spin do? Summon length of thread until your board is full. Okay. And measure. So you need to go into there like so, and you need to go on the board as well. And you're going to go there, and you're going to go there. I'm not sure how well this is going to go down. I've got to end my turn. Mm. Alright, so you're going to have to go up there, you're going to have to go there, you're going to have to go there, and you're going to have to go there. Yay, we beat the fights. Okay. Play advances all enemy rage gauges, end of turn, if awakened, gain three borrowed life. Offering harvested, cool. Dice game! Let's play dice game! Small group of nomadic acolytes are playing dice. As bets are made, a small pile of golden beetles builds up in the center. A gambler can take the pot, but to do so is to exit the game. Few do as most fights. Griff broke. I can't go for broke. I have to take the pot. Gain some beetles. Here's a gift. So on strike with lightning every time you deal over five damage at once. Yes, that'll work. All right, we're in the fading forest. It's doing well. The demo is playing really nicely. The mechanics are quite simple. An uncovered gold cap for mushroom beast. Drop in that. So that's just my one raven. Okay, beast turn. He's going to open his attacks, befuddling spores, fungi fury, and wind up punch, which flip the health and attack of a creature. Deal two damage, and then whatever that does, I so I'm going to summon this one. I'm going to have six attack down. That's nice. And I'm going to have to end my turn on that. All right, we'll switch that around. Oh, that's my one raven. My two ravens back. Oof. So I'm going to have to put your wind up punch. If took no damage last turn, deal three to you directly. Well, we've got them down pat pretty well there. Okay. It's going to switch the health and something of someone. Oh, my, my mana koi. Oh, that's not good. All right. I'm going to have to put you up there. Do it five attack. And whatever I did then. Okay. Oh, the lightning, because I dealt five damage. Mm, good job.
Oh, it's like I got a three raven now. Oh no. I got that turn. Alright, it's gonna roll in four damage. I'm gonna end my turn here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't kill my raven, because if it kills my raven, I'm dead. I'm just gonna roll with an attack. I had to. If it, ooh, I'm lucky it didn't kill my raven, because if it killed my raven, I would have died based on its special ability. Deal 10 and inflict all enemy abilities with wildfire. Oh. Offering harvested some. Okay, the yearning woods. Oh, it's already got its stuff open to begin with. Um, decreases by one every other turn. Start of turn, if stomach contents is 10 or more, it bursts and I die. If stomach contents is zero, I starve and I die. Okay. It kills a creature, gain three life and increase stomach contents. Increase stomach contents. Is less than three, deals six damage. Counterattack deals two damage. Right. Uh, I'm gonna put my impling out and end my turn. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's that's also not good. down good was that my last raven already i wasn't paying <laughs> well i didn't pay too much attention to what happened there um So I'm not sure if I'm able to beat the demo or not, but it definitely looks like it's going to be a fun game. Um, I'm not sure when it comes out, actually. Let me go check that. Let's just quit the game for a sec. Open Steam. Acolyte. Oh, Acolyte of the Altar is actually already out. So chuck the link to the description. Chuck the link to the game in my description. It came out on the 26th of March. That's so only just a recent drop. Okay. So, I will drop a link to the game in the description below. Uh, if you like so your deck builders and your roguelites, please suggest some games that you would like to see me play. And uh, yeah, so we're going to leave it for that one. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. As always, life's too short to be normal. Stay weird, embrace the chaos, and have a good one. Bye.